to the channel. Those of you that are new, my name is Miss May, one fab teacher. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm gonna get too right to it, y'all. I have been MIA. My apologies. My school is being remodeled and it has been a lot packing up the whole school packing up my classroom and taking everything home that belongs to me and then organizing it in my um in my garage and it's just been a lot a whole lot and i've just been so exhausted and i just have not had the energy to pick up the camera because i've been so tired i've officially been on summer break our last day was last friday so it's been a week and I still feel tired. I don't feel 100% rejuvenated and rested. Hold on guys, this is Papa Bear calling. Okay guys, I'm back. That was Papa Bear. I had to talk to Papa Bear for a minute. So anyway, before I even get started guys with why you're here, I have to say, if you have not read this book, Girl, Wash Your Face by Rachel Hollis, you definitely need to pick this up. I just got this two days ago. I'm halfway done. I'll be done by tomorrow because it's one of those you can't put it down. Excellent, excellent book um, about not feeling sorry for yourself or, you know, based on your circumstances. Just a really good, good, good read. Good make you feel good. Make you step back and look back and think about your life and say, hold up. Is this that serious? Very good read, but I had to share that with you. Girl, wash your face. Excellent book to purchase. Anyway, so the reason why you're here, I wanted to share with you guys my sub binder. Normally don't bombard with products from my Teacher's Pay Teacher store, but today I'm going to share a little bit from my Teacher's Pay Teacher store. So if you're not interested in this kind of a video, I'll see you in the next one. But today it's all about the sub binder. Now I was gone for a couple of days right before the end of the school year because my fabulous parents came into town because my sweet nephew, baby nephew, um, graduated from preschool. I'll insert the picture here. I mean, like, too cute, right? And so, um, <laughs> I had to have my sub plans ready and you know and which is not a big deal and I had a binder prepared for her that just fit for me and my style and so I just want to share with you I find that sub binders are very good to have I started using one maybe two years ago and you know I've tried various different ones I think they're very efficient and very informative for substitutes in order to keep your classroom running smoothly and for their day to go smoothly. So I'm just going to show you mine. So mine is called One Fab Substitute Binder and it looks like this. And it says Happy Elementary 2018. So you can edit this it, oh, that's the thing. You can edit this binder. So you you put your name here you put your L, your school here and like the year in the middle. So your school and then the year in the middle. So the cover is edible for your name. And then pretty much the whole binder you can edit how to fit your needs. And so you'll get like, for example, a welcome. There's a welcome page. I, I think it's important for substitutes to feel welcome coming into these environments. So you can just type in whatever your heart desires here to make your subs feel amazing and this will be the same note that goes and stays in your binder for every substitute that you possibly have so you don't have to retype that every time also what you will get is so when taking attendance so taking attendance i put taking attendance um and your class roster also helpful students and students that may need a little help all on one page and that looks like this of course with some melon heads and i just want to share a sample with y'all about what how that kind of looks like if you were to type it in so here's just like a little mock-up of how you could type it in however you would like so um that's that page then you'll have a school staff page and this is just contact information for people that your sub may need to contact 
right there and then for your team so we have the principal assistant principal nurse librarian custodians other all in here now i have two vice principals so i would just put both of them on the same line as well um next i have a page for allergies because i know in years past i've had kids who i've had maybe like one kid that was allergic to peanuts or something and then there's times where i've had kids like half the class is allergic to something and then i've had it where i haven't had any any allergies but this page is handy just in case you do because i think that's important because i know sometimes subs like to give out little trinkets or treats or something and just to be safe so they know then we have a schedule page so this page is basically where you would type out your schedule here so that your sub can see what your schedule is at a glance just like at a quick glance of what your day is like and that's that page next is classroom procedures so it's important and i pray and i hope that every teacher has a procedure for everything you can think of if not please start doing that but like attention getters bathroom procedure water break procedure your transitions important to have here for your sub so they can use that and so they're so they're familiar with it so that your classroom continues to run smoothly as if you were there that day um helpful information so arrival procedures and dismissal procedures you know there's a there's a procedure for everything and that can go on this page behavior information so what's your behavior management plan what is it that you do do you do the super improver wall do you do something else and then what the expectations are with that behavior management plan all goes right here and then you know guys i just love it too because it has melon heads i just love me some melon heads love them um behavior plans so i know and it says helping these students be more successful i know sometimes we get kids in our rooms who need a behavior plan and if you're gone it's important that that behavior plan stays in place so this is a sheet to type that up for your substitute so that they understand and know who needs a behavior plan um who or who's on a behavior plan and to implement that very very important then we have lunch and recess so what does lunch and recess look like i know it looks different in many different schools all over and so you just type up here what your lunch procedures are your recess your inside recess and outside recess lunch procedures go there then emergency procedures i know when i was out this last last week i know when i was out they had a fire drill thank goodness i had this handy because this is for fire drills lockdowns tornadoes and bad weather and like for example i'm just going to show you guys um so like once something's typed inside so i just type all that information out and then they know what they need to do and then i have a dismissal list and then I also have a second one because I know some places the kids like where I used to teach at we had walkers where I teach now we don't have walkers and that is that and then we have how was your day so the sub can give their information here in this box their name their email their phone number and then students who were absent and then just a comment about the day can go here and then last so this is the last page here and this or um, the last page i'm going to share here and it's two pages this is your actual lesson plan template where you type up your plans for yourself and what they need to do and here in this corner you just put the date so i would put um friday june 7 2018 type up my plans here and here because I'm sure they would carry over from this box and then print them off and I would actually put this on top of the binder so that the sub knows that that's for them and then if you have multiple days you just change the date up here and 
type and print. And lastly, what I like to do to keep them protected is I like to put my, all of my sheets that go inside my binder, I like to put them in a sheet protector. So for example, let's just say, let's just do this class roster. I just take my sheet protector, slide it in, and whether you use a binder or a folder to put them in, they just go in this, and you just put it in, and then your sheets just stay smooth. You could do front to back if you wanted to, of your pages. You could do single, or you could do, if you wanted to save, you could do front to back. Totally up to you what you want to do, but I believe sub, sub binders are a lifesaver for teachers and for substitutes. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys today, the sub binder. Just kind of let you guys know too that I've been MIA because I've been extremely tired and I just have needed rest. And also, don't forget about this book here. Uh, game changer. Absolutely love and adore it. I will put a link in the description box of the book and of my binder. And until next time, my loves, I will see you in the next video. Don't forget, stay prayerful and thankful. And don't forget to always pray because you know God will truly always make a way. I love you guys so much. Mm -hmm. Happy summer. Bye.